Welcome to 21st Century Competencies in Action, Planning Instruction for 21st Century Learners. In this video series, you'll see examples of learning activities facilitated by teachers in Washoe County School District that help our students develop the competencies they will need to be college and career ready in the 21st century, and demonstrate mastery of the content and skills articulated in the Nevada Academic Content Standards. Based on a three-year global research study into innovative teaching and learning conducted by Microsoft Partners in Learning, Washoe County School District has adopted a framework that includes six dimensions of 21st century learning, collaboration, knowledge construction, real-world problem solving and innovation, the use of technology for learning, self-regulation, and skilled communication. This video focuses on the 21st century learning dimension of real-world problem solving and innovation. Students are using problem solving when they define problems and develop solutions to these problems that are new to them. Students are also problem solving when they complete a task that no one has instructed them how to do or design a complex product that meets a set of requirements. The Real World Problem Solving and Innovation Elevator identifies three 21st century competencies. As you watch the video, be on the lookout for examples of students solving problems as the primary purpose of an activity, working on solutions to problems that actually exist in the real world, and putting their work to use in the real world through the process of innovation, that is, the creation of products, methods, or ideas that are new to the students and have potential value to others beyond the classroom setting. are trying to make dirty water, dirty pond water, into clean water. Yesterday, I had started, remember, screen is already on there, and the screen is at the bottom of our tiny factory filters. Now, this was my idea of soil, but I'm taking it away because you have to plan your own ideas. I have written the choices that we have available on the board. Your job is to decide what you're going to use and where you're going to put it. And you can begin thinking about what you're going to put on layer two. <laughs> what you're going to put in layer three, what you're going to put in layer four, and be thinking of your because. That's your evidence for when we go to collaborate in our groups. It's going to be layered. Don't be what we're going to solve. Think that right? this is your bottle. Do you know what layers are? Four. Okay. I have some. I have some students that are completing. They're completing their plan. That's okay. I want you to really make sure, Joelle, Faith, that you have your because. That is your evidence of your thinking. That's going to show your group that you have thought carefully about your design plan. So when you go to talk to your group members, you're going to be able to say, I would like to use blank as my second layer because of this reason. Does that make sense to you? So remember, Mrs. Nestler almost drank our water. Now, I want you to be thinking about yesterday and splash in the video. And remember that we had talked about 
your idea. I'm going to read it because this is your language. Take out all of the yucky stuff, then put chemicals in it, then take out the chemicals. What are we not using in our factories? Chemicals. Chemicals, right? So is anybody going to be ready to drink that water today? No. Oh, gracious, no. Not until it's clean. Not until it's clean. And are we going to be able to clean it completely at all, Faith? No. No, because we don't have chemicals. Let's be thinking about our problem because I want to go back to our goals because we always have to have goals for our learning. Okay, so goal number one is to solve our problem. What's our problem? Glug, glug, glug. What's our problem? Josh, what's our problem? To make dirty water, clean water. To make dirty water, clean water. Okay, now wait a minute. Clean. And this is the engineering part. By doing what? I want you to use my vocabulary words that we've talked about. Filter. To filter. We're going to make dirty water clean by? Filter. You need? I want you to add ing to this word. Filtering. 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 Filtering it. What are we going to filter it with? We are going to create tiny filtering factories. <laughs> Second goal. To engineer. A filter. And Mrs. Nestler has a goal for you. What is Mrs. Nestler's goal? We are going to collaborate. And I'm going to use that big term because we all need to get used to it. To collaborate and use accountable talk. What word do I want you using today? Because. Thank you, because. So you're going to have to talk about your plan with your group and use accountable talk and say, I would like to use blank as the first layer because. And then your group is going to have to make some decisions on really what your first layer is going to be after the screen. Does everybody know that you're going to have to do a new planning sheet together? Hey, Serenity, tell your group about your plan. It doesn't matter who sucks my plan. So I also okay. in wood chips. All right, you three come over here. The wood chips can, like, be right. lost. Like, the wood chips can block what? The wood chips can block some of the soil, and because soil some has, like, big chunks in it, and we don't want big chunks getting in there. Three layers. No? Keep going. Keep going. Okay, Keep going. So maybe metal pads should go as a second layer, and then maybe rocks should go as layer four. And then the gauze should be right in, right, not in the middle. There's no middle. But it should go on layer three, the gauze. Frankie, use the word because. Because, well, because then it's going to be more secure. Secure, do you even And if the gauze is in the right, is it if it's in, in three and it's layer three, then well if something breaks through to the um, rocks, then and then and it will go to the gauze, and the gauze is a pretty strong 
paper show. Well, if it does break through the guard, then it's gonna go with metal pads. But well, it shouldn't do anything. We should put. Can you think we should pick up an idea? Yeah, we just picked your idea. We should pick rock. We should pick metal pads. I pick gauze. We I pick gauze. We should yeah, pick really up rocks. metal pads and what did you pick? We should pick rocks, metal pads, and soil. Rocks, metal pads, and soil. No, gauze. Gauze. I think gauze is maybe gauze is gonna work. I don't know. Or let's just. Let's just check rocks, metal pads, and gauze. Let's try that one. Yeah. yeah. If it doesn't work, then we'll make a new one. And then we'll try Joel's idea. And if it doesn't work, then we'll just come up with a new idea all together. And let's not lose them soon, because it can go through. Uh, I should put the rocks first to the dirty stuff. Can't get in. So it, it could change to clean water. Excellent. So before you do your group plan, I think you should, all three of you in your group, you should choose the best three things you have and put them together so you can use it to make your water clean. It's labeling. Okay, now what are we gonna do next? You um, the rocks. Yeah. Okay. okay. Rocks gonna be next. Yeah. So where are we gonna put the rocks? On top of the stand up and let them do it. That's what this is about. So you're right. Right now it would be great. Wait, can't you just put one rock right here because I need a. I can't do it in the bottle. Then they'll think that the arrow is in. Well, well, you can just point it right here. Yeah. So, okay. okay, so what'd you guys decide? We did, um, okay, I'm going to do layer on this side. Okay, and <laughs> you chose this. Did you choose this in a certain order? Why? Um, because, okay, you can, what was it? Um, when the metal, when all the water comes into the big time, um, the metal pads will catch all on the big thing. Okay. Yeah, that could work. So, okay. And then the rocks, the gauze to make the other, to make the other small stuff. If there's other small stuff that the metal pad doesn't have, and it still goes here, the gauze, the gauze can catch it, and the rocks can make it go this way to go to where it's supposed to go. And and you all agree? Okay, yeah. excellent. One half cup. So this is where we have to use our math brain and part of our math practices is choosing tools properly, appropriately, strategically. Hold this right Guys, do the first one. Which is the whole roller. What do you have first? Okay, here we go. Right How now. much is this? Half. We need to cut one hole. Okay. What do you think we should do with it? Okay, we gotta cut one hole. Uh, and you need how much? One. one. Remember we did for a half? One. Shh. Everybody go like this. Good job. Shh. What, what do you want to do? After the box, the the green stuff. It's gonna go right here. No. Nah, no, that can make it dirty. Cause look at let's do rocks, metal pads, can make it watch it. So metal pads, rocks, and watch it. Yes. Rocks, metal pads, and watch it. 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 I think both of you are as well. All right. Now we're going to share the rocks. Share the rocks. Yes. So we get to do that now. choose to do um, some rocks because 
we thought that um, we could put them in like orders to see if they could go um, have a line to go through it. But soon as we got it, we um, saw that it um, didn't do it, but we could make a hole though. And um, we used this to um, put the water because this has little stream stuff to make the dirty stuff out. Strain, you mean? Yeah. Strain. Out and, um, what's the thing? I don't know. Oh, the screen? Yeah. We had the screen to, um, put the water in. Okay. He's getting cash. What do you guys notice about the pond water in the bottom? I'm just going to hold it up. You guys can all stay. Madison, I'm going to What do you notice about the water itself? It doesn't have all that dirt and yucky stuff in it. That yum. That this. One has, it just has the green stuff. Just wow. the water. Isn't that amazing? The reason why we didn't want to put the sand after the metal pad is why. Because we didn't want it to go right through the, to the bottom. So we choose to do it a different way than some other groups. And like some other groups did rocks. Dirt and then sand. Okay. What is happening? Nothing's going down to the bottom. It looks, what? It looks like green. Like Why green. is nothing? What is happening? They secured it too well. They secured it too well. Secured. It's just deep. Faith, say that again. Because they use sand and dirt, which dries up the water. Mm, dries up water. Hmm. Do you think it's drying it up right now? Yes. Yes. Hmm. What's right. what's happening? Oh, here it comes. It's coming. It's dripping my drip. Oh, the soil's on the water. Oh, what's happening? It's it's going into the water. Soil is going into the water. Why? Because it's mud. It's turning Ooh. into mud. Why? Because it it's wet. Why it is soil wet. in there? Soil with um, water in it. Tell the them. Rocks. Tell them. I know. <laughs> Tell them. Soil went through the rock, so it went into the bottom before you put the water. So the soil went through the rocks, the rock layer, through the screen, and into the bottom.